My name is Smoke Dog. I'm from Regent Park. And I make music to tell my story from where I'm from. And all the people that can't tell the story from where I'm from. Where's he going? Just now. Just now, supposed to be. I got into music. I was just going to like my friend's studio sessions. First, like they were just doing it a lot, and I was just always there chilling. And then one day I just said, like, yo, let me try, you know? My friend Arno got me and Moji together. Rest in peace, Arno. He told me to come to the studio. He even paid for the studio, everything. Then we did the song Robo. We didn't even, that song wasn't even serious too when we first did it, but when Arno passed a couple days later, like, like we're like, yo, we might as well like just do the video and stuff for Arno because he paid for this sake, you know what I'm saying? So we might have shot the video for us. We had the scenes with Arno in the studio. Then Drake liked it, posted it. And then I got a lot of new fans from that. And then I made Trap House. And that song brought me to another level. Like the clubs, everyone was fucking with it. I got a repressive on records that stretch and remix in the door. I turn it two into a four, bag it up and I sell it for low. Trap, 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 nigga, saw we know. Only real killers and drug dealers up in my bad door, nigga, in my bad door. Trap house doing numbers. My music represents exactly where I'm from. My neighborhood. And it's a story from a, a kid from Toronto that grew up in the hood where he's seen a lot of his friends die and a lot of his friends get locked up. And he's trying to do good for himself and there's police out there trying to throw dirt on people's names. Well, that's how it is when you're coming from a place like Regent Park, right? Where there's a lot of violence. Awule is a word that like, it defines like a lot of gang, basically. It's not really a Somali word. One of my friends that died made it up. Rest in peace, Tana, he made it up, and we ran with it from there. When people think about Halal Gang, they think about Puffy L, Smoke Dog, Mustafa, Safe. But like all the people that really represent Halal Gang is like trying to really do, do good. That's my, that's my big sister. She's the oldest, so you know. He's like, the oldest of the nine. But I always knew growing up that he was like gonna be like he was gonna be a star because he was very like um it's popular. Yeah. Loved by everyone. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite song is Trap House. <laughs> it just gets me hype. And it's a club banger. All of them is my favorites, exactly. Just focus on your music. Like I said, go hard, keep making music and just keep shining. The city's like it's everything still. As in the culture, the people, you know what I'm saying? The vibes, you can tell, like, we have our own vibe. Candy, anyone? Oh, you behind the camera. Huh? Get your hand in there. Come on. I came from the biggest ghetto in Toronto. The first ever two in North America. So I feel like my hood made me who I am as a as an artist today. I've seen a lot of shit <laughs> growing up in, 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 in my hood, you know what I'm saying? I've lost a lot of people. And even the people that are doing bad, sometimes they don't even have a choice. It's very easy to get caught up in the shit. Sometimes shit just gets caught up with you, just being in a place like that. So it's kind of, it's pretty hard still. It's pretty hard, but I feel like I've done good for myself. I feel blessed, you know? My mom's happy that I'm not out there doing that bullshit. And it's hard on her too. She's getting older each day. So I can't put no more stress on my mom. I'm just trying to see, make her happy, you know? It's my main focus. I 
I go by the name of Drake. I'm from Toronto, Canada. But I'm telling you right now, and I mean this, tonight we turn it all the way from the fuck out of the UK. Being on tour with Drake was really fun, like getting up, knowing you're going to another place. Knowing that like you're on tour with the biggest artist in the world from your city. And especially like coming from like a place where I come from is like I would never expect to ever be I went to, like places like Denmark, places like Norway. So like when we're up on these stages and we're getting reactions from people that like you know what I'm saying that we don't really know and they're following on everything on us is just different. Now that I'm back, the stages are easier because I had so much practice on a on a professional stage. Coming from where we come from, it helps with our music because it helps us stay true to ourselves to never get lost in. One, we have something to talk about. Two, we know our value. And like we ain't letting no 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 promoters and nobody walk over us. Now, just trying to perfect my music because it's like like you see like seeing something like that you you working so hard for it and you get to like just get a glimpse of it is just like. It's like you really want to get there, you know? You really want to get there. I'm just trying to buy my mama a bigger house, bigger truck. Facts. Count it up. Count it up. Count it up. Count it up. Count it up.